we have what we call Royal Culinary Academy at Sea. Welcome to the basic knife skills training. The Royal uh, Culinary Academy at Sea is the formalized training program that we put uh, our culinary staff through. At the end of the program, our chefs and cooks have to go through the American Culinary Federation certification. A lot of the training is actually facilitated by our sous chefs and executive sous chefs that keeps their knowledge fresh because they also have to teach. It's not only they have to know it, they also have to uh, teach. So training it becomes uh, critical uh, in our operation to make sure that as many of our chefs or as many of our cooks uh, are capable at any point of time to move uh, in a station and work without any problem. Our front and house staff, of course, goes to a lot of training all the time also. The importance of having the teams working together between the front and back of the house, it simply won't succeed if that component is not in place. We have over 7,000 waiters that we have to train to ensure that all of the effort that we've gone into developing new menu items and working on the presentation of the menu and, and everything that's gone into the menus really won't come through if our wait staff aren't fully trained. This menu, deck five, my time. Every ship is different, every itinerary is different, so we would build a training course for the onboard training around the specifics of that ship. What was the menu item that linked directly to the saffron? It's really going through each of the menu items and, and highlighting the key ingredients in those items, um, explaining how to recommend those particular items to guests. Uh, we'd even go as far as including audio pronunciations onto our training programs. Our food is only a great product when the two teams work very closely together. And, and we, we do that from a development standpoint, and our teams on board do it every day.